What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here and we are back today with another review. This time we're going to be looking at the Logitech K830. Now this is a media keyboard that's going to connect to your smart TV. So let's get it open and check it out. So Logitech is one of the best keyboard makers that I've uh, dealt with. This is no exception. Logitech K830. This is a smart keyboard. Um, I'm going to get this open. Now, just a little background on the keyboards. Now, I showed you a keyboard a couple of weeks ago. That was the K800. That one was a multi-device keyboard. Now, it hooked up through Bluetooth. It had a, it had a dongle. It basically did everything that you needed. Up to three devices it controlled at one time. This one is a little different. Now, notice the packaging. It comes wrapped up. Gonna lift all that out of there. Okay, this is our power adapter, or it looks like a extension. This is an extension, yep. Get that to the side. Let's go through all this stuff first. The manual, we don't really need that. It's a keyboard, we're just gonna type on it. What do we got here? USB dongle right here. USB to micro USB right here. And that seems to be it in the packaging. And now for the start of the show, unwrap this. I got it wrapped up real nice. Here we go. Now, that is a sexy keyboard. Look at the black, the finish, the matte finish. Um, the keys are blacked out. Uh, this is this is nice. I like this. It's lightweight. This is nice. Okay, so we got an extension right here. Put that to the side. We got a charging cable right here. We got a USB dongle right here. Instructions, I got those to the side. We'll worry about that later on. First off, I want to do a little real estate on this. Now, you notice you get a premium, like a aluminum finish right here. The sides are closed in. Up top is your power and your USB and over here I'm not quite sure what this is yet this looks like ah a right click we got a right click okay you get little feet on the bottom so rubberized feet so it's not gonna do a whole lot of moving over here you get a trackpad now your trackpad actually has volume up down and mute over it and you get left and right mouse right here capability trackpad is not tactile so all you're gonna be able to do is move around on it, not tactile. Our keys up here, it suggests that we will be able to do some controlling. You have um, play, pause, fast forward, all that good stuff up at the top. The reason I bought this is because this keyboard is backlit. Now, when you're sitting in the bed at night and you wanna control your smart TV and use your mouse feature, you need a backlit keyboard. This keyboard satisfies that bill. What else does this keyboard do? So this Logitech keyboard does not need a battery replacement. Um, you're gonna get a 10 day battery off of a charge. You're gonna charge it up, has lithium ion batteries in it. It does not use AA or AAA batteries. Um, has a backlit keyboard. That's one of the big selling points about this keyboard is the actual ability for it to have illuminated keys. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this uh, hooked up to my Sony TV and we're gonna take a quick tour and see what it does so let's go upstairs and check it out so here we are we're upstairs this is my Sony 800 uh, e smart TV and this is the keyboard right here now remember this keyboard can connect one of two ways through Bluetooth or through the USB dongle I like a hard wire so I put the USB dongle in the TV already this has to be charged up has its own battery on board uh, it's going to be operating at least about 
you're going to at least need to be 10 feet within range of that TV for it to work. Um, I'm standing right here in front of it. Of course, if you're in the bed, you're not going to be about you're going to be about 10 feet from it, but it should still work if you're in the same room. I'm going to turn this on. Remember, on off switches right here. Turn that on. Green light comes on. First thing I want to do is see if it recognizes right off bat. So we're on the home screen right now. Like I said, the keyboard is on. The keyboard is connected. You can see the mouse moving around on the screen. Um, if you want to select something else, I'm doing all of this with the keyboard right here. You can drop down to another menu. Do all that with the keyboard. Keyboard is functional. Like we said, the mouse, there we go. Clicks do work. Everything is a go. Everything looks good. Let me turn the lights out so we can see if we can get some illumination on these keys. So I got it a little darker in here. I want to see if the keys, okay, you notice they went out. As soon as you touch it, they come back on. So those keys are going to be great for use in the dark. They're going to help you out a whole lot when you're trying to type things in, you're watching a movie in the bed, so on and so forth. So the K830 by Logitech is definitely a go for the smart TV. Um, you're only going to get one device connected to this keyboard though. Remember, you can connect either Bluetooth or you can connect through the USB dongle. I like a dongle because it just has that hardwired connection. You don't have to worry about the Bluetooth going in and out or being spotty. So guys, that's been it. This is the Logitech K830. Remember that name. This is the Bluetooth keyboard with the built-in touch pad with the easy access controls. It has a 33 foot range through the um, Bluetooth and a 10 foot range through the USB dongle. Um, additional features that it has, it has a 10 day battery, 2.4 gigahertz, um, connects with only one device. It has a lithium battery in it, so you're gonna be able to charge this up. Like I said, that 10 day charge. It does connect through the USB or it connects through Bluetooth and it has the backlit keyboard. So those are just some of the features that are gonna be a good selling point for this keyboard. All in all, I give it a big thumbs up. I like it, I'm gonna enjoy this keyboard, especially late at night when I'm trying to watch a movie and I need to type something in on Netflix. I don't wanna use the remote. This is gonna be my go-to. So I hope this is able to help someone out. Until next time, give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.